Welcome to today's event, organised by the various IP help desks of the European Commission. My name is Simon Cheatham. I'm the team leader with the China IP SME help desk. Um, we are going to take a look at the agenda for this morning. Um, and if we can pull up the uh, agenda slide, uh, you will see that this morning focuses very much on actual experiences of businesses involved in moving to a clean uh, circular economy. Uh, we will have um, an introduction from the EU's executive agency for SMEs, followed by a panel session discussing the uh, IP, the key to success, uh, and we'll move on to look at the various IP and business challenges faced by European clean tech companies uh, into international markets. Uh, and then take a look at some international case studies in Southeast Asia, Latin America, and a look at the Japan experience. Uh, we will then conclude with a, a round table uh, discussion. So the IP help desks are free services that aim to support the SME and research communities in Europe to make informed and strategic decisions regarding their assets in Europe but also to provide them advice on how to deal with IP when internationalizing to third markets, such as China, India, Latin America, Southeast Asia, and Japan. Building on last week at the industry, the EU Industry Days, this event aims to discuss industrial challenges and highlight opportunities for the Green Deal with regards to intellectual property. It is clear that the EU's ambition is to have an industrial base that is value added, agile, resilient, driven by innovation, and that respects the environment. For the green transition towards a climate neutral EU by 2050 to succeed, it will require EU SMEs to be more competitive and have robust protection against unfair trade practices. In March 2020, the EU launched the EU Industrial Strategy which amongst its key pillars, highlights an intellectual property action plan to assess the need to upgrade the legal framework, ensure a smart use of IP and to better fight IP theft. The role of the IP help desks in executing and informing the SME community on how to better protect themselves is evident. Yet nowadays, we see that very few SMEs, probably less than 10% protect their intangible assets. And we are strongly convinced that enhanced awareness and protection of IP is incredibly important and an integral part of the twin green and digital transition. So today we will listen to the representatives from the EU, business and service providers on how IP can be used and how it is directly linked to the Green Deal, what challenges are, uh, but also listen to a number of success stories and best practices of companies that have successfully leveraged IP to enhance their competitiveness in uh, global markets. 